Hi, in this video of C language, we will cover about integer constants. As we already know what a constant is and how can we define a constant identifier. But in this video, we will have a look on those things which we can assign on any particular integer type of value. So basically whatever you will write on the right hand side of the equal operator that is a constant or a variable or an expression. But here we will see about the constants figure only. As in the integer apart from the normal numbers which you can write like 1, 2, 3 means any whole number. You can also supply the values like the decimal, octal and hexadecimal. So, in case you want to write any normal number, you can write like this, like here, 2, 1, 2 is a normal whole number. But if you will write the alphabets like U and L, it will be like the unsigned or long numbers. And you can write them like this, like 2, 1, 5, U. So this is also a valid value. Similarly, in case you want to write any hexadecimal code or hexadecimal value, you can start that by 0x as 0x suffix is for the hexadecimal. So whenever you will write a literal integer values, you can do them like that. For example, u is for unsigned, l is for long and similarly 0x means either small x or capital X is for the hexadecimal. If you start the value from 0 only, then that is the octal value. As here, this is not the valid octal value because here you can see 8 in octal values, 8 will not be a part of that. But still, if you want to start an octal value, you can prefix the 0 in uh, before the actual value. So this is how you can start writing any integer constant. So let's see how can we assign any integer with the hexadecimal or octal values practically. So for passing a constant integer value to any integer kind of variable, let's see what all kind of value we can pass. Like here, you can see, first of all, I have just passed a normal integer value that is 212, which is the normal number. And obviously, we can assign that particular value to any integer. But if you want, you can also specify the modifiers after that, that is U and L, that is U for unsigned and L for long if required. Similarly, if you want, you can also pass the hexadecimal value which will start from 0x and then after you can assign the value to this integer. And for assigning any octal kind of value, you can just begin the value with 0. Now, you can generally as you do, you can simply convert these values of hexadecimal and octal type to the binary digits and when you will execute that, you will just get the same outputs. Like here, this is 355, this is 531, this is 215 unsigned long and this one is 212. So this is how you can pass these kind of integer constants value to any variable or constant identifier of integer type.